Hello Dungeon Defenders, Jalos here. If you follow my videos, you'll know I already put out a How to Build a DPS Monk a while ago, but I figured with all the mythical gear and the raise of the level cap, that video is a bit outdated. So here I am again, and this time I'm going to show you how to hit the 1 million DPS mark. So first things first is stats. It's really quite simple. 120 into hero damage, 120 into hero boost, and the rest into hero health. Next we're going to need mythical gear, of course. What type of mythical doesn't really matter, just make sure you have a set. Now, as far as deciding what gear is worth getting, or figuring out which type of set you want to build, I usually follow a simple rule. I look for the single best armor piece I can find, doesn't matter what piece or type, just the single best. In my case it was my boots, as they have max hero damage, it also has a good amount of health, hero boost, and max cast speed. Once you find the best piece you can, if you can afford it, buy it, and then base the rest of your set off of that. The main stats you're going to want to worry about are of course hero damage, health, and hero boost. The others are pretty much irrelevant because as long as you come out with at least 100 move speed and 100 cast speed, you'll be okay. Obviously tower stats aren't going to matter because we only care about DPS. One other thing I want to mention is that you want to make sure you max out generic damage resistance. Fire resistance is optional because only kobolds and dragons steal that, but I max that as well. The obvious reason for this is so you don't get one shot in nightmare mode. Once you have your resistances maxed, the next stat you're going to want to max is Hero Boost. The reason you're going to max Hero Boost instead of Hero Damage is that each point of Hero Boost is going to give you more overall DPS than each point of Hero Damage. This means you're going to have significantly less DPS without Hero Boost on, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem, as it doesn't cost that much to maintain, and in Nightmare Mode, you get mana really quick anyways. Alright, so for your weapon, you of course want to make sure you upgrade the projectiles to plus 4, and after that go all into range damage. If you can clear Nightmare Halloween Spectacular, then do that, because Nightmare Nosferatu is what most argue is the best DPS monk weapon in the game right now, because it can have plus 6 projectiles. If you can't get the Nosferatu though like me, then just find any mythical weapon with at least around 150 upgrades. If you can find one that also adds a good amount to hero damage or hero boost, then that's even better. Next thing is your pet. You're going to want to get a mythical dragon like the one I had. I bought mine in the tavern shop after clearing the ramparts on Nightmare for 75 million. The main reason you're going to want a dragon is because animus pets just aren't that good anymore. So find yourself a dragon like mine, make sure that it's a mythical one, and you should be good to go. Alright, so I did just enough upgrading to hit the 1 million DPS mark, with Hero Boost, of course, so here it is. I don't consistently hit 1 million, and it is with Hero Boost, but I don't want to spend any more mana on this weapon, or I won't have any to upgrade the Nosfera to when I eventually get it. One last thing I want to mention is that I recommend having two pets. The first I already mentioned is your dragon, and you should use him when you're going to be the primary DPS, but the second pet you should have is the Huntress Guardian. As you can see, the reason is that she'll boost your tower's DPS by over double, which is extremely helpful when you're doing survival, or a hard challenge where you aren't going to be the main DPS. Alright guys, that's all I've got for this one. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out, and now you can go out and hit 1 million DPS for yourself. As always, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, and until next we meet, fare thee well.